Back in 2007, Nike flew me out to Los Angeles to work the first ever Kobe Bryant Skills Academy. Nike brought in the top high school and college players from around the country for an intense three-day mini camp with the best player in the world. And for those of you that don't follow basketball, let me paint the picture. In 2007, Kobe was the best player in the game. I've spent most of my life in a basketball bubble. So I had heard the urban legend of how insanely intense Kobe's individual and private workouts were. And I figured, now I'm on camp staff. This is my chance, this is my shot. So at my earliest opportunity, I walked up to him and asked if I could watch one of his private workouts. And he was incredibly gracious, and he smiled and said, sure, I'm going tomorrow at four. And I got a little bit confused because I had just got done looking through the camp schedule, and the camp schedule said that the first workout with the kids was the following day at 3.30. And Kobe noticed the confused look on my face, and he clarified that with a wink and said, yeah, that's 4 a.m. Now I'm here today with one very basic goal. That's to give you guys some tools and some concepts so you can not only raise your game individually, which certainly is the first step, but it's so you can continue to build an unbeatable team. And in order to build an unbeatable team, you have to know what it is that you do well, you have to know what it is that separates you from your competition, and you have to make sure that you're doubling down on those things. He has an unbelievable ability to blend stories and then things that impact both business and personal at the same time. It's very clear to me that your competitive advantage is you guys. It's your people and it's your ability to build relationships. The stronger your relationship with those in this room and those on your team, the more unbeatable you'll be. The stuff I'm gonna share with you today will help you become your best self in every single area of your life. They'll make you better spouses, they'll make you better parents, they'll make you better leaders in your community. But I caution you not to sit there thinking, I already know this, but rather I challenge you and hopefully empower you to sit back with an open mind and have the humility to ask one of the most important questions you can ask yourself. How well am I actually doing this. I cannot stress enough that difference between knowing and doing is the difference between where you all currently are and where it is that you're trying to be. I've learned the power of repetition. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Repetition is not punishment. Repetition is the oldest and most effective form of learning on the planet and that will never change. Being extraordinary is about doing the little things right every single day. If you give someone your full undivided attention, you are unconsciously telling them that you are important to me, that I care about you, that what you have to say is something that I value. And there is no greater glue in the world to forge a relationship or a connection than that. I think he's truly one of the best speakers I have ever seen, and I have seen a lot of speakers. It's like he's just talking to you. So what's the main lesson that I want you guys to draw from my first encounter from Kobe? On Monday, I want every single one of you to be at work at 3 a.m. No, no, of course not. There's Coach K, someone that I had idolized for years as a young coach. And we talked for about 10 minutes, and what I find kind of comical looking back on it is, uh, I didn't have the mindfulness or presence or awareness that I'd like to believe I have now, because I don't remember a single word that either one of us said. We talked for 10 minutes, and I don't remember a single word. But I'll never forget how he made me feel. He made me feel like I was the most important person in that gym. I wasn't. The kid he was recruiting was the most important person, but that's not how he made me feel. Duke University did a study and they found that 45% of everything we do is habitual. That means almost half of every single thing you do from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed is on autopilot, is on cruise control, is done unconsciously. So we can clearly see how important our habits are. So in all of these different relationships, whether it's with a coworker or whether it's with a customer, invest the time to create the connection that will make everything else after that much easier to do. This is your team, your teammates. 
And the number one question I would ask you is the same thing that I've asked every single player I've ever worked with. Are you the type of teammate that you want to play with? The standards that you set today, both individually and collectively, they will determine where you'll be tomorrow.